Yeah. Here we go! Ah, springs. I think you probably know what this stage is. If you don't, you're gonna hate it. Yep. Stage of nothing but hopping on these springs with wind. Yeah, I have a feeling you're gonna fucking hate this stage. It's basically trial and error trying to make sure you get across these ways. Yep, basically gonna shoot yourself up in the air and then be ready to move forward as soon as you do. Oh, these stages are so fun! Yep, just go for it. And you gotta make sure you don't fly back all the way. Unless the platform's back all the way. There is a checkpoint on this stage, though. Thankfully. I can understand this being a stage you want to use save points for if you feel like you need them. Because, yeah, this... This is definitely one of the more annoying stages towards the end of the game. <coughs> I say at the end of the game... Oh, fuck you! It shot me through the spring! Fuck you! Oh, God. See, this is good game design, isn't it? You have to move in such a way you can't see where you are. I love it! That is a one way to do it. Have them go towards the end of the screen so you can basically go backwards and land on without any major problems. Ugh. Yep. Because I think that's the play is just run yourself to the edge that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's an idea, yeah. Or just know your overall balance. Try to guess where you are in midair. Just try to land perfectly on it. But... Yeah, it's not really easy either way. But yeah, you're doing the same as Smart Bike. It just depends on how much of a gap you have. You've got to remember how much time it takes before you fall off, or come back down, rather. And just hope you land somewhere reasonable. Like that one you probably could have made if you kept going forward. Oh, this one's fun. Gotta remember to do save and continue next time, because technically we haven't saved since we started. Oh yeah, you're right. You probably should do that. You wanna start all the way from World 5 again? No! Technically we do have my other file, which has all the levels unlocked, but... It would be the same, you gotta unlock the right way! Yep. I love off-screen gameplay. So, do you think the fucking invisible power from Mario Wonder was bad? I'd rather do this, to be honest. You know, I can see that. I can see the invisible that. power is bullshit. This, honestly, as harsh as this is, this honestly doesn't feel terrible. Ah! I'll blame that on myself. I think I didn't go far enough. It's just... You basically have to remember, like, you're towards the center of the screen. As long as you remember that... It just remember you like go up and then you fall after like five seconds. Eight. Yeah, about six seconds. Just about. You're in the air for six seconds. There's something. To I keep just need to remember where I'm falling from is the thing that I need to remember. Yep. So I think I'd fall from. Yeah. Ooh! Yep. That's the thing I like need to make uh, experiment with. I have to make sure I remember where am I falling from. There you go, you made it to that. Like I said though, I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised if you wanted to use a save state for something. I think it's a mushroom, but with this kind of stage, it's not really that helpful. I wanna say it's a checkpoint. <clears throat> God, I hope it is. I think there's a one here. Yep, that was the checkpoint. So I'm gonna wait for you to punch off. Now we got more of this! Right, so My life pretty sure this is the very last stage that has a checkpoint. So after this stage, there's no more stage of checkpoints. Fucking platform! Why are we getting for coming anyway? Dragon's Dogma 2 came out to mostly positive reception, unless you, unless you value play. your time. <laughs> okay. If you have nothing to do but play Dragon's Dogma 2, apparently it's an amazing time. 
Oh yeah, South Park Snow Day. It sucked like I expected it to. Yep. I saw I saw a video on that. It looks just as painfully generic as I expected it to be. Cheap cash grab game, yeah. I was, that was unfortunate, but I saw it coming too. As soon as it got announced, I was just like, I don't think this is gonna do well. Once I learned it wasn't an RPG like the others, they tried to do different gameplay style, it didn't go well. It looks so painfully. Oh. What's the word I'm looking for? Generic. Yep. I have Freedom Planet 2s on consoles now. I recommend that. I might wait for a sale on it. I also just remembered that my Wii U version of Freedom Planet technically doesn't have save data anymore because my Wii U getting wrecked back a couple years back. Thank God for me being on PC. At least the Switch has cloud saves. And most of the modern consoles do have cloud saves. We'd hope that'd be a standard feature at Although, this point. Switches you have to have the on Switch online for. To have the save, the cloud saves. At least Microsoft gives them to you for free as well. Just like Steam and a lot of the other uh, game clients do for PC. Well then again, it's nice for us whatchamacallit, when you're on PC, you get free stuff using your internet thing. Yep. You also just store your save file and other things, and copy them, I'm sure, too. Where freaking everything else in consoles is account-based. Nice. Okay, I think I'm starting to get a feel for placement. I don't think I can make it. Yeah, being smart. All oh, right, we have to do the stage over, I forgot. I forgot I ran out of lives. All right, we're at the checkpoint. Yeah, I didn't even realize we had to start the stage over. I have not been paying attention. Oh yeah, Obsidian Games got released on friggin' Switch and PS4 and 5. Fuck! Oh, yep. And then you have typical platforming at the very end of the stage, too. Yep. Oh, it gets even meaner towards the end. It gets even meaner towards the end. You'll probably notice the moment that it does. Oh yeah, Final Fantasy XVI's DLC came out recently. That's the Rising nice. Tide. Where the first DLC was basically just more Final Fantasy XVI. Ugh. Stellar Blade, I feel like I heard of that one. Oh yeah, I wanted to play that game. It looks <clears> cool, it's just PS5 exclusive, so I can't. It's coming on... Oh yeah, it's PS5 exclusive now, yeah. Oh yeah, Rise of the Ronin was supposed to be another big one. I heard Rise of the Ronin's alright. Yeah, it, just it, it ended up being only okay. People thought it was going to be another like Ghost of Tsushima, but it was just like... It, it wanted to be a fucking looter shooter, or looter, looter game, whatever, really badly. I don't know why you choose that game for some reason. Oh yeah, Sea of Thieves is coming to PS5. Good for everyone who likes so Sea of Thieves. Likes that, yeah. So what some people see is one of the best co-op games. So there you go. Braid Anniversary Edition. Jeez, Braid, that's a game I haven't heard of in years. Yep. Honestly, like the game looks cool, it's just don't really have the greatest care for it. Yeah, yeah. The Rogue Prince of Persia. That's the roguelike Prince of Persia game that Dead, the Dead Cells developers have coming out in May. Hope that does well for... Gonna be interesting to see how that goes. So weird, I have two Prince of Persia games in a fucking four month span. I've not had any Prince of Persia for like ten years. Weird how that works. Yeah, they stopped the wind on you! Fun! <laughs> they keep the wind out through almost the whole stage, and then they're like, okay, wind's gone. Fucking dicks. Oh yeah, World Group 2 is one. The System Shock reimagining or remake whatever is also coming out in May. That's... I'm curious to see how that'll be. I'm curious enough, but I'll probably just be looking at it from the outside because I don't have the greatest knowledge of System Shock to really... I know oh, it's like... It was already on PC. It's coming to consoles. That's what it is. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
say, I've heard decent things about it. Then again, that's also because I'm not the biggest fan of System Shock, so I haven't just been right. Bad. Good, Tsushima's going to PC. There you go. More PS5 or PS4 games hopping on to PC. The end of PlayStation's exclusive era, just like Microsoft's, is coming. Slowly, the end of consoles is, well, I mean, there is some value in having consoles because I mean, nobody wants to deal with the bullshit. Nintendo still has the portability, PC. which... PC still has a decent way to the go. The problem with the PC is that there's a lot of stuff that... So many things are internet dependent. It's kind of hard to do, you know, portable PC stuff. There's also the fact that PC has a lot of things that... I think a lot of it is also just the emulation versus and the convenience that comes from a console game as opposed to just PC gaming where there's a lot of loopholes around it. Yep. But then again, there's also the thing with PC where it's like, once you get a game once on PC, you own it for good, whereas with consoles, you don't really have that luxury. Yep. You have to hope that your console still works, otherwise, well, you're basically holding a bunch of paperweights. Oh, Multiverses is also coming to consoles. Huh. I thought that game died. I thought it died too, to be honest. Huh. Shocking. By the way, this castle fucking sucks. Just give me a heads up. This is one of the worst castles in the game. Alright. We gotta do save and continue next time. What's that? Don't save and continue? Got it. God damn it, no! <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, this castle is probably one of the worst. It's very hard to get around. Definitely. Destiny 2 has more fucking expansions coming? Jesus Christ. Yeah, they're milking it. They've been working on that thing for fucking, like, nearly ten years now! Fuck, man! Alright, Elden Ring's finally getting its DLC. The, expand, the expanded version of Shin Megami Tensei 5 is coming on everything. Poor Switch Hunter to the original. Monkey Ball game, I hope to hope that turns out well. Luigi's Mansion 2 HD, whatever. Final Fantasy XIV Dawnbreak. Oh, expansion for that, right. MMO, right. And now Xbox finds Final Fantasy XIV. Well, apparently they're experiencing save bugs, last I heard. Oh! This is one of the easier parts of the stage, too. This one's a dick. If you say it's easier, but the fucking RNG has decided, yeah, you're not getting the platforms yeah. to be able to jump over. Just screw you. Switch is getting Ace Combat 7? Huh. Weird. Why now? That's so bizarre. Is there a new Ace Combat coming? Uh, I don't know. I just know that, uh... Ace Combat 7 I thought was like a good while ago. I guess they just finally decided to port it to Switch. I was say, I thought I remember that being like Xbox and PlayStation a long time ago. Yeah, this stage is bullshit. Watch out for that Koopa. And the yellow one. Yep, you just want to hope you jump on him and knock him down a cliff. This stage is bullshit. You're going to hate one of the later segments. This is a maze. No! It's fucking... I like precision platforming. You can get a life there and you kick a Koopa down that side. Not that it matters. So there's no checkpoints here anyway. It's these! Yep. <laughs> Thin corridor with fire bar. That's the big reason why this is seen as like the worst fucking Bowser Castle stage. That shit. Got it. You have to move through it like just the right moment. So, hopefully you time it right, or else you're fucked. I also don't think there's a mushroom here as far as I know. Actually, there might be one down there. Eh, fuck it. Worry about it later. Then again, a mushroom in this stage, consider that segment, it'll help you for a fire bar, but otherwise it's not that helpful. Because <laughs> you're probably not going to get through as big, Mario. Ever. I think under that fire bar, there is a hidden block that has a mushroom in it. Damn! But yep, that thing in the fire bar, we got to time it just right. It's fucking brutal. You 
might be safe in the corners. Maybe. I'll try and see what happens. Yeah, you could be safe in the corners. But yeah, this this one's probably the worst Bowser cat. Oh, I say that, and then there's World 8. Oh, f That's what I'm game. saying about the elevators. Thanks, game. You say it's the easy part, but sometimes the elevators just don't answer. Yeah, yeah sometimes RG just enough. fucks you, yep. Oh, fuck you! Stalk out just enough, you son of a bitch. Like, god damn it. see if there's anything else interesting coming. Oh yeah, Nightmare Kart someone people are excited about, because if somebody did some, like, weird fucking Mario Kart-like game in Bloodborne's engine, and then fucking they got a cease and desist, so they just got rid of the Bloodborne assets and turned it into a new thing, so we have a kart game! Basically based off Bloodborne in a way. Oh, that's where the mushroom is! And it killed you. <laughs> to help me! I'm sorry, Toads! What do they do to deserve this? Everything. What do they know? Fuck! Hey, Mario, Mario. Ow! Fuck! <coughs> don't make me break out the Dorias. Please don't. My Monster of Stories has covered up other systems, right? What else is there that could be interesting? Black Myth Wukong. Oh yeah, I've heard that name. Oh, I think I okay. That I think I came through the thing. It's probably just a modern console port, and it's on PC. Star Wars Outlaws. Yeah, that is a game that's happening. I was trying to remember if that got. Oh uh, yeah, that was the one with the big controversy because of all the special ultimate exclusive edition bullshit. Of course. Stalker 2 Horror Chernobyl is another one. And Warhammer 40,000 Space Marines 2. Space Marine 2. Oh, so here. All right, you can stay in the corner. Yeah, I just learned that. All right, so just stick in the corner and run from one to the other. Okay. I was about to say, like... Not as bad as I so... thought. It's still kind of shitty, though. It's the thing is, it's one of those things where it's like, it's garbage because it's so cryptic. Yeah. Because once you know, it's like it's actually not nearly as bad as it. Oh, the fire bar makes it a lot harder for you to run under him. Oh. Yeah. You gotta hope you get him in between his hammer. Okay, honestly, this wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it would be. Just because of the you know standing right. The part. I forgot about that. But you can just sit in the corner. I'm gonna say like it looks like you could stand in the corner. And like, yeah, you have big more room for that. And somehow have. If you have Super Mario up to that point, you can actually freaking crouch to avoid that, but good luck getting around these Koopas. Oh yeah, I forgot the And you're just tall enough, yep. I was wondering if you were just tall enough or that would avoid you. That's my own fault there. Woo! Finally! A life! I have one! See? Ah! I almost lost it right away. Woo! That is a tight fit. That is a very tight fit. It's just enough. That's definitely level design. They basically want you to know that Mario is short enough to avoid that. All right, so watch over the fire bar and Bowser throwing hammers. Oh, nice! All right, not nearly as bad as I expected. Good! We're learning! Now the true hell begins. What the f- Why are they so small? Are those all like children? Did Bowser's kid have a bunch of children? What the fuck? 